Hey guys, it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. So I am feeling kind of sad because today is moving day. Kind of. So I am going to be leaving my flat today. Um, I've already brought a bunch of stuff over to Sylvie's house yesterday and I'm bringing the rest of it today. Um, but as far as all of my other stuff, which I will show you shortly, um, that is not moving out until Tuesday when I have a moving van and a guy come help me do it. But last night was my last night sleeping in this room. I don't know. It really still hasn't hit me yet, y'all, but it's crazy how fast two years have gone by. If you've been around for a while, then you know when I first moved to London, I moved into the student accommodation at my university. Um, and then I stayed there for about six months um, for the duration of my classes. And then I started searching for a real London flat. I wanted that real experience. And I found this one and it has been such an amazing experience for the last two years. Um, my flatmate and I have genuinely become friends. Um, and I know that we're going to remain friends even after I leave here, but yeah, it's crazy y'all how fast time goes by, but I'm officially closing this chapter. Um, not beginning my new chapter just yet, but I'm sure I'm going to have a really cool experience staying with Sylvie for the next month or so. Um, then it'll be time to move into my new flat and begin that chapter. So I am really excited and I'm looking forward to it. New beginnings. That's what my life has been all about <laughs> since I moved to London. So yeah. It's so weird seeing my room empty. The final thing I need to do though is remove the rest of my butterflies. Aw, how sad. Let's see if I can get this. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, are y'all ready to see what it's looking like out there? Please don't judge me. Let, let's start this off right now. Please don't judge me y'all. I am a recovering clothes hoarder. <laughs> Majority of the stuff I have here in London um, happens to be clothes. I do have a bit of a shopping problem. And then also I like work with brands who send me things as well. So it's just accumulated a lot, a lot, a lot over the last two years, two and a half years. So. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I know you guys are probably like, what is wrong with her? So, <laughs> I meant to tell you guys that I did end up getting a bigger storage facility. Um, the guy on the phone, I had to call and like switch locations and he asked me what I had and he said, the 15 square feet is definitely not gonna be enough. So I now have 20 square feet. I'm still feeling a little bit nervous, but We'll see what happens. So we have a lot of boxes. Oh man, lots of bags, probably like 15 bags and 15 boxes, if I'm being honest. Um, oh, and there's also these plastic bins that are awful. It's five of those, you can't even see them. Oh my gosh, those were under my bed. That was my under bed storage. Y'all. And uh, here's the stuff I'm going to sell at the Battersea boot sale, hopefully. I probably could have come up with more things, but like I said, I'm just a bit of a clothes hoarder. The first step is admitting it, right? But yeah, um, I'm going to run to the store really quick because I need to make a return. Um, and then I'm actually going to go to Primark and get more of those like shopping bags because um, I need like one or two to bring the rest of my stuff to Sylvie's house. I'm pretty much bringing like my whole summer wardrobe over there because I could be there for like up to five weeks. So yeah, but yeah, I'm definitely going to share the actual moving process with you guys as well. When I have the actual moving van here, I've already got that all booked. So yeah, check in with you guys later. Little thing and just <laughs> Good morning guys. Rise and shine. We are up. I was about to say up early. Oop, copyright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> it's more so going on 11 o'clock, but we're leaving out to run some errands. I'm officially staying with Sylvie now. As you guys know, I have to give you guys a little room tour <laughs> later after I clean up because I've already made a mess. Guys, it. guys. I'm, I'm living out of like three suitcases, so. She brought the whole house into the room. I, I brought 2% of my possessions. And before she showed you the room, when I gave her the room, it was looking tip -top. It was, so I'm gonna make it look it was, like how Sylvie laid it out for me before I show y'all because she really did have it looking nice. I'm like, okay, okay. So yeah, what are we doing today? So we're gonna go to Ikea Yeah. because we're gonna do adult stuff. By the way, guys, adulting is ghetto is. <laughs> I know, do not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> they hyped it up. They hyped it up. I recommend. So we're going to IKEA mm -hmm. because we're doing adulting. You have to return something, right? Yeah, I've got to return something. And I need to buy something. So we're doing up my crib. That, that. Yeah, Sylvia's doing a full on DIY home renovation. Like, she's lit. She's and it's pouring, it's pouring down, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Pouring. So that's going to be consistent all week, I think, the rain. And Paige keeps running around with some umbrella that has been broken for three days. <laughs> I need to get a new, it's a Primark umbrella. Okay, y'all, it's a Primark umbrella. It was like five pounds. I'm gonna get another one. She doesn't wanna let it go. <laughs> so we have been, we're doing that and then we're going to good old Asda. I shop anywhere, but Paige is very fussy. I know, I'm so happy that she's willing to go to Asda today. So I can just sack up on a bunch of stuff and then be Sweet good girl. for a while. Food shop. Yes, and then we'll be back cause we gotta work. Like, yeah, yes, yes. We so we're on the time limit. Exactly. So yeah, talk to you guys later. That's so cute. Oh, like my granny has a bunch of those and puts all her <laughs> knickknacks in them. <laughs> uh, nah, it, it gives me my granny vibes, yeah. It depends on what you put in there, I guess. Yeah. I'll show you. I would love one though, like, you know, like in the side of the um, front room. Mm -hmm. Just a cute little. And what's going to go in there? So I would put like, you know, you know, you know the bougie china wear? Okay. Basically what Grandma. our grandmas do. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> the bougie china wear that, that you don't want, but you don't want, it's only for the special or the special yeah. ones. Yeah, no, I get that. Not too much stuff though. Just a little. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you supposed to actually? Yeah. But the bowl, like, I don't. I think. I thought it was so. If anything spills out of the bowl, it falls into the plate. The, I feel like they're too small for even cereal. How much cereal are you eating? That's a good portion. You think so? Yeah. I've been doing it wrong then. <laughs> You probably eat one of those big old bowls of cereal. No, I've been doing big. <laughs> I've been doing big. I stay doing big. I quite like these. What do you think of these? That's cute. That's a nice size bowl. Isn't that bigger? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, it's deeper. It's, it's yeah. deeper, yeah. It's deeper. Yeah, oh, definitely. But I quite like porcelain. I'm quite, quite bougie. Quite bougie. I like bougie. How much of the plate? The side plates are two pounds. Where's the side plate? Chest of drawers? Oh. The sides? Oh, that's nice. I quite like that. I feel like it might be a good idea. My question is, what are you going to put in it, really? <laughs> How much is that? Oh, I like bathtubs like this. My grandma likes it. She's that's like, oh, cute. They were like, we don't sell it, it's just for display. Oh, they don't sell any tub like that? No, they don't well, sell a tub. So where would they put that in? But my grandma was like, but I like it. Yeah, right, it's nice, they should sell it. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, y'all, so this is my room here at Sylvie's place. She had the double blow up mattress ready for me when I arrived. Mirror set up here, cause y'all know I need that. <laughs> it's actually bigger than my room at my last place. So I have more space here than I did before. Have a desk over there. I already threw a bunch of my stuff on it. But yeah, super grateful that she's letting me stay here for the next few weeks. Of course, I'm gonna be paying her um, for my stay, but just super appreciative that I even had this option. Good morning, guys. Is it still morning? Good afternoon, guys. Today is officially moving day. I am going to be moving all of my stuff out of Jess's flat. So sad. Um, the moving truck is going to be there between 1 and 3 p.m. So I'm heading there now. Sylvie. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> is dropping me off because um, she has to go to uh, Westfield. So she's dropping me off at the at the train, train. station. Exactly. I'm so tired, y'all. I don't know why. Oh, I was up pretty late last night. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> what was she doing? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, she dropped me off at the train and she's going to sit and wait until the... I don't want the camera to fall. Keep going. You can go ahead. I am going to just sit and wait. <laughs> y'all, I don't want the camera to fall. We'll do this. We'll do this, guys. So yeah so i'm just gonna sit there and wait until the driver shows up i only hired one mover so that means i have to help obviously um because it was significantly more expensive to hire two people um but i don't mind picking up boxes and carrying them down the stairs and stuff so i'm gonna move everything out put it in the guy's van um and then load it into the storage facility Still cross my fingers that I got a big enough space. I think I mentioned to you guys that I ended up upgrading from the 15 square feet to the 20. So that should be enough. If it's not, like, I have a problem. So. Send help. Please send help. So yeah, checking with you guys when I get back to my old flat. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I'm sweaty. Hey y'all, just checking in. So I am currently at my old flat. The moving van guy just called and said that he's less than 10 minutes away. So I've already started bringing a lot of the stuff downstairs just to make it a little bit easier for us. Um, since I'm gonna be having to help anyway, I was like, let me just start bringing stuff down the stairs. So I'm already feeling pretty tired, but yeah. I still have about 15 boxes and five bins in there that he's gonna have to come up the stairs and help me get because I've done a lot of work already. Hopefully it's smooth sailing once we get to the storage facility and I can just easily get my key or however it works and move in there. I hope the, um, the moving van guy is not like in a super rush and he's like, I have to go, I have to go because I really don't know how the process goes once I get to the storage facility. Um, over the phone, they said it should be pretty simple and then I just come in there because I've already checked in online. So hopefully it's fine. And then also, you guys know I don't drive here, so. Last time the guy that I hired to move me um, allowed me to ride in his truck with him to my new flat to unpack everything, but I don't know how this guy is gonna be. It's a different person this time. Um, so the storage facility is only 13 minutes walking away from here. So if I walk really fast, I'll get there, hopefully at the same time as him, so. I don't know, not gonna allow myself to stress over it too much. It is what it is, and I'm just hopeful it's all gonna work out and be smooth so that I can get this over with. <laughs> just kind of went around, but I'm getting really, really cool. Uh, <laughs> right here. Okay, this one's got a big door as well. That should be all right. Check it out.
I just had to run back up the stairs because I realized I left something in the moving van. So I came back up to put it in here. Um, I definitely think I could have went with the 15 square feet. Y'all, they made me upgrade. I think I could have saved a little bit of money, but it is what it is. It's in here. It's done. Feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Knowing that my stuff is safe in here, and now I can just patiently wait until it's time for me to move into my new flat.